He moves through the crowds with a graceful elegance. He's instantly recognizable. To his fans, he's Tony Bennett, crooner of all the classics, and recently an icon to the hip MTV generation. But there's another side to this talented man. To the art world, he's known as Anthony Benedetto. I have to keep growing and get better and better and, uh, and learn, keep learning, and, uh, and uh, just to have it, to be in the museum today is a great personal, uh, you know, plateau for me. The exhibit includes 30 of his works in a variety of media, including watercolor, oil, and acrylic. His subjects include friends and other entertainers he's worked with, and he had high praise for the butler. I like American art better than European art, and this is a fantastic museum. You have Whistler, you have Homer, you have John Singer Sargent, you have Aikens. This is the great American museum. And he wasn't the only one to praise the Valley's treasure chest. State of Ohio. We have the finest collection of museums in the country with the finest uh, artistic collections. And we need to make sure that our own Ohioans see it and also let the rest of the world know and the country what we have right here. But the people of Youngstown and Mahoney Valley should be very, very proud. And there was another artist with a collection on display here. Chen Chi works in watercolor and paints the experiences he's lived. This is the early days I did 1942, that just before the world, during the World War happened, before Japanese started uh, attack Pearl Harbor. That time Shanghai still neutralized. So I, that time I was in Shanghai. I painted what I saw. The Benedetto exhibit will be on display until October 30th. The Chen Chi works will stay on until November 13th. For TV27's First News, I'm Gina Marinelli.